Hello everybody, and welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. Today we are on episode number 97. And as always, I am Shane Thomas. You can follow me on Twitter at smthomas3. Also go to codekarate.com and sign up for the newsletter over here on the left. And find me on Google Plus as well. In episode number 59, I believe, I went over the field collection module. And what the field collection module allows you to do is it allows you to basically add a field to a content type that allows multiple field values to be attached to that. And the best way to show you would be to, with an example. So I have the field collection module installed and I have a content type called playlist. In this content type called playlist I have a field collection called songs. So if you take a look at one of the playlists I created it is called classic rock and it has a couple songs it has you can see there's song title and artist and there's multiple of those so I have one two three four looks like about six songs in here and you notice that for every song title there's an artist so walk this way with Aerosmith we are the champions queen and if you take a look at the edit form you'll see how this works basically it has the two fields the song title and the artist and it allows me to of course rearrange these or to add another field here if I want to if I want to add another song and artist and I can I of course added these two fields I could add in any number of fields I wanted just by simply going to the field collections page after I added it to the content type and manage the fields that go inside this field collection so I have a song title and an artist and the only reason I'm showing you this is because it ties into the module we're going to be going over today we're going over the field collection views module as you can see on this display page it's not necessarily the format that I would want this display to be in it's just kind of a list it tells me the song title the artist I can make some minor changes to this format if I come up over to the content type page for my playlist and I go to manage display I can sh have it show the field collection items or links to the field collection items so I'll go ahead and have it show the field collection items and I'll click save and you can see now it shows in a little bit different format I can edit and delete I can also have there's an add link so I can add a new song title and artist to this field collection I can edit an existing one but again this isn't necessarily the format that I want what I want here is I kinda want it to be in a table based format just so it's easy to read easy to see and this is where the field collection views module comes in this basically allows you to use the power of the views module with your field collections so I'm going to start by going ahead and turning this module on and I'll save this and now there's a couple steps you're going to need to follow there are some instructions on the field collection views page so you may need to take a look at that if you get lost it basically will allow you to change the display settings for this particular field collection so I'm going to come back to the content type page and I'm going to go to manage display for my playlist and now I'm going to look and see that there's a views field collection items option here so I'm gonna select that and now what this allows you to do is it allows you to use the name of your view so this is the machine name of the view as well as which display ID and if you want to have an add link in the actual display itself so I'm gonna use the defaults and show you how the default view works so I save this I come back to the page and now you can see I'm already you can tell it's a view and I'm already using a table based format right now it just tells me the field collection ID gives me an edit and delete link and has this add link at the bottom of course I want to modify this but before you go and just modify this view directly there's a couple things you should note this default view probably shouldn't be modified just in case you have other field collections you add later you want to be able to use this view as an example 
So what I recommend you doing you do and I think it's also recommended this way in the instructions here is I'm going to go ahead and clone this field collection view. And you could of course just add another display to the field collection view, but I like to I guess just change it so it's a completely separate view then I can export it with the features module or something else if I need to. And I will go ahead and name this playlist field collection and since this is a clone you're already working with the exact items that you need so it already has all of these different fields in it and you need to make sure you keep m most of these fields here so what I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and this field collection ID I'm going to just exclude this from the display so it's not showing up and I'm going to then add my various fields that I want which are song title and artist you can see it's just a basic view if you haven't used the views module before you'll obviously need to learn how to use that first but if you have it's gonna be very familiar so I'll go ahead and leave the labels and walk through the next steps and I'll rearrange this so I put the song title first, then the artist, then the edit link, and the delete link. Uh, let me see what this is. That's the add link that is there. That's going to be shown at the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. And now when I come back to the playlist, you're going to notice nothing has changed yet. I need to actually come back into my content type, go to manage display, and change the new machine name of this view. In case you don't know what the machine name is, you can hover over, or you can come in here, and if you hover over this view name, you can see it says machine name playlist underscore field underscore collection. So I'm going to change that. Playlist underscore field underscore collection. And as far as the machine name, if you hover over or you go into the advanced section it's going to give you the machine name of this view in this case it's a page what I would probably want to do is I would probably want to not make this a page because uh, this is the wrong view actually so I want to click on the right view this time so it's actually not a page it's, excuse me it's just the master display so if you hover over it it's gonna say in the if you look at the URL down here right at the bottom when I hover over this it says you'll notice that there's the word default in there right at the end and that default is the name of the machine name of this display in most views if you added another view for instance I added a block it would allow you to change this machine name if you wanted to but we're just gonna leave it at the default so the display ID which is just the, mach the display ID, not the machine name of the view, is going to be default. If I added a different one, I could, of course, maybe change it. But for the most part, this should probably just be left at default. If you want to have the add link, you leave that there. Of course, this was the actual machine name of the view. Go ahead and click Update, save it, and things should begin looking the way I want it to now. And there you have it. Now we have song title, artist, edit, and delete. This is a view, so I can do a lot of different things here and control how this works and how this looks and it's just that easy to have a content type with a field collection that you can build out and now you can also control very easily how that is presented on the page so that's it for this time on the daily dose of Drupal and we'll be back again next time with another episode thanks for watching and let me know if you have any questions or anything you else you would like me to cover in future episodes see you later